sources which have told us and you can uh, fill us in on that that some of the demands which Gautam Gambhir put in for this uh, in order to access this role they were included having full command of the team having a final decision and choosing his support staff and also having separate red and white ball teams now the first two one would say are logical demands but this is very interesting I'm asking for a separate uh, red ball uh, limited overs team and a separate test team is it something that is very much the need of the hour because we look at uh, one of the key criticisms coming out at this point is you cannot have test veterans also playing in T20 where fitness and youth is really the mantra. Well, yes, absolutely. These uh, these demands of separate team for red ball and white ball have been going on for a long time. Sometimes the management has uh, has thought that this is what they should be doing because remember, India has not won an ICC trophy for a long time now. It has obviously uh, been a decade uh, since India won yeah. an ICC uh, trophy. So all of these ideas and suggestions have been passed around uh, time and again. But as far as Gautam Gambhir's uh, demands are uh, concerned, yes, of course, as a coach he would want full autonomy as far as the team is concerned as far as you know the Indian team players are concerned in what permutation combinations he wants as far as the support staff is concerned uh, maybe if that is a demand it is of course uh, going to be for the betterment of the team so that everyone can uh, gel well together and uh, uh, Gautam Gambhir also will have an understanding with his support staff and together they can uh, build a new team because remember when Rahul Dravid was uh, taking over this Indian team we were to told that the Indian team is in this uh, transition phase and we are trying to blend in youth with experience and okay. some of the, that actually happened but yes questions are being asked that you know we were in 2022 World Cup we are here in 24 and uh, there, no, there are not much changes from that team to this team where India did not perform well so there is a lot riding on uh, Gautam Gambhir what he does is something that will be very very interesting to see in the three and a half years uh, that he is going to be at the helm. All right, Karishma, let me go across to Shishir Atangadi. Shishir, I'm going to ask you to put on your thinking cap at this point. If you were going to be got if you were Gautam Gambhir and you were given charge of the team for the next three years and with three years to go for the next uh, ICC 50 over World Cup, what would be your three or four key changes that you would look to pursue as your top priority? Um, I'm not as wise as Gautam, so uh, for me to put on his cap, but yes, I, I can tell you. The way he's thinking and what we are at the cusp of change when it comes to uh, players. A lot of players are, you know, towards mm. the, the, the the twilight of their career. So uh, there will be changes, you know, at least in the 50 over format and also in the T20 format. In the white ball, uh, we are at the cusp of change. So I think for him to ask if he has, I don't know, for uh, two teams uh, in these two formats or white ball and red ball, I think is uh, legitimate. Also a very pragmatic call uh, because this is something that every coach would be looking at in terms of uh, youth, fitness uh, and performance. You know, if you have a senior player who's performing, then you tend to ignore uh, the, the, the so-called disability in fitness, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, we are at the cusp of change and we need to accept mm -hmm. that. Gautam obviously will have idea. But before I say that, I'll tell you another applicant is, as you said, W.E. Raman. Now, he, he's a wily coach Coach, he would have come up with a very strong presentation. So, you know, let's not ignore the fact that he's made an effort to present uh, to the committee about what his plans for Indian cricket are. But as we say that, you know, in India, stature as a cricketer matters in a big way when you become coach and uh, when it's an Indian coach. So yeah. uh, the chances are uh, Gautam will be picked and he'll come with clear ideas, his own coaching staff. Because everybody's had that in the past. They've had a comfort level in terms of working with their own uh, support staff. He'll also be very clear in terms of the, his voice in selection uh, and, and ability to express himself with the past that be on on maybe scheduling, on uh, maybe on maybe practices, sessions, on tours and a team, okay. a team suggestions because that's where your your supply chain is going to come from. Since we are at a stage where you know some of the senior clip players might be at the end of the career, so uh, a close watch on all these issues. Uh, and why not? If if your motive is right, if your if your journey is right, then we have to expect that you know we get close to the destination we all expect India to get to. But but you know, Shishir, 
But you know, Mr. Atangadi, the problem is your motives might be right, but sometimes the best of moves are not accepted in the right spirit in a country as obsessed with cult of personalities and superstar culture like India. The simple example is that of Mumbai Indians. A lot of people we feel that on paper getting Hardik Pandya as captain was a sound move. Rohit Sharma was a very illustrious captain, yet his form in the tournament in the last few years had been abysmal. Hardik Pandya had a very recent track record of delivering as a captain for the Gujarat team. So it was a move that made sense on paper, yet we saw how it completely wrecked the team. It destroyed Roach, um, Hardik Pandya's self-confidence. Some say it's also brought in fishes into the main team India as well. You had days and days of Rohit Sharma's fans trolling Hardik Pandya, putting him under criticism. That's exactly the kind of culture we do not want in the Indian team, yet... But bringing too many changes but you know, and Gautam Gandhi like does to, go for that I'd might like lead to, to chaos. I'd like to you yeah. and, uh, you know, respectfully just tell you that if Hardik Pandya's form was or he was, he was at the top of his game in the IPL, then we wouldn't be discussing this. Generally, issues turn up and issues happen when the captain of the form is actually letting the team down. And... Uh, uh, that is why I kept saying, and I, and I keep saying this, that, uh, you know, Gautam's role and his duty as a coach would be to ensure that the key players who are actually uh, in charge of the team on the ground, they strike good form early because once then they start commanding the respect mm -hmm. that uh, they rightfully deserve. And, uh, you know, everything seems to fall into place like a good jigsaw puzzle once your captain starts performing and he's in good nick. Uh, many a time you find the team slipping away and the blame obviously comes on the captain. Look, for example, what has happened to Pakistan. I mean, the, one of the best players in the world, Babar Azam, is facing a lot of flag yeah. because his team is failing. And that is something that we need to accept. And I think uh, in Gautam's case, he's very smart. Uh, He's a, he's a shrewd, uh, he's been a shrewd mentor for uh, uh, KKR. So he will know, he will know exactly what bo boxes to take to make this team happen. He's seen a lot of coaches succeed and fail. So, okay. you know, these guys actually uh, record a lot on the hard disk saying that these are the things that made the uh, coach successful. A bit of John Wright, a bit of Gary Kirsten, a bit of Ravi Shastri, a bit of R Raul Dravid. He'll have, uh, you know, assimilated all the information and then probably put his own funda in to make sure that, you know, he actually takes this team forward. Yeah. If appointed, of course. Yes, if appointed, of course. But as Karishma is saying, that's just a formality. So let's proceed with that. Vedab Jayashankar, I'll, I think that's, I just have time for the last word from you. Would you caution against disruptionism for the sake of it? Or would you advise that if Gautam Gambhir did get the job tomorrow, he should go ahead and not try and make too many changes in one go and try and gradually bring them around in a way that doesn't upset the apple cart? No, I don't think so at all. I think if you are going to appoint a guy, give him a free hand. What are we interested in? Get the results. Give him a free hand. Let him do. I mean, he's got his ideas. Okay. You're bringing him because he's got his ideas, his experience. You know, a whole lot, a whole lot of things that he brings to the table. So there's no point in tying his uh, tying one hand behind his back and asking him to perform. It's better to give him head, allow him to do what he wants, and uh, then run the show that way because that's the only way. I mean, it's his team. He's the coach, and he has to gel with the captain, whoever is the captain is. And if they were able to work together, and I think India would be out on a winner. But there's no point in saying you can do this, you can't do that. That's that's ridiculous. That should never happen. It happened early, earlier and it really cast a spell on the, not just the coaching staff, but also on the team. And that's not what we want. We want a coach who can run the show. We want a coach and a captain who are in sync with each yeah. other. And we want somebody who will call the tune. You know, most of the time, you know, there is there's a lot of, there's a lot of fear for taking decisions. And it's good that you have a coach who will take decisions. There are a lot of coaches of the Indian team earlier who allowed the superstars to do what they wanted. They never took firm decisions. And I'm sure okay. that Gautam Gambhir will not be one of them. He'll, he'll be somebody who takes a firm decision. Whether it makes the team or breaks the team is different. But we need, we need people who will take decisions. Okay. Finally, Karishma, I'll come back to you. Is You have tr tracked Gautam Gambhir as a correspondent. You've spoken to him also <laughs> off the record here. Uh, what would his focus be in your mind? I think he would be winning and not just winning. I think he he is the sort no, no, of guy... Uh, once, Vedam, who, I, even, that question was for my colleague... Vedam, that question was for my colleague Karishma. Karishma, please go ahead and say. <laughs> okay. 
Well, yes, I will agree with Vedam there, though, Ritanshu, that his focus is, of course, going to be winning. That has been mm. BCCI's focus for the last so many years. ICC trophy, missing that ICC trophy. And from very, very close yes. quarters, whether we talk about 2023, when we lost in the final or the T20 World Cup in 2022, where we were knocked out.